Okay, today I want to explain how to do the buttonhole scallops, um, most particularly on Sue Spargo's homegrown quilt, block number 14. There's buttonhole scallops in the roof. So I've kind of drawn here, what you need to do before you get started is mark some lines with a chalk pencil on your roof uh, fabric or wool. Um, her, she has four different levels of scallops here. So you want four evenly spaced lines. And on the pattern here, when I did it, it worked out to be about three eighths of an inch apart. And then we're gonna start here at the top of the, the house, but work upside down. And you'll see in a minute when I show you the stitch. So she has four scallops across the top of the roof. So you wanna space those evenly apart and they end up being about 5 eighths of an inch apart. So you wanna mark some little tick marks on this first line with your chalk pencil. So you wanna mark those four, the three lines with the chalk pencil 3 eighths inches apart and then some tick marks across the top 5 eighths of an inch apart. And that's all the marking that you need to do to get started. Okay, so the buttonhole scallop stitch is found on page 138 in Sue Spargo's Creative Stitchery book. And I'm starting on the roof, I'm starting at the top of the roof, but I'm working upside down. Um, it's just easier that way. This is what it looks like. It's loose, it's not attached at all. So when you're done with all the scallops on your roof, you will be attaching them in three places, one in the middle, center at the bottom, and then in between there and, and the side over here, you'll put one in the middle here, and then in between the middle here, you'll put one on this side over here. And they're um, attached with small bullion knots, four to six wraps. So you'll just be stitching little bullion knots to attach each scallop down. So to begin, you need to put an anchoring pin in between the two tick marks from the top line um, down to the bottom line in the way direction that I'm working. I mean, like I said, this is upside down, but for your working, this is the top and this is the bottom. So stick your anchoring pin in, bring the thread up right near where I finished the last scallop, wrap it behind the pin, then I'm gonna go down on the tick mark on the right and come up very close to where I started. Right there. Pull that thread through. So you've got, I've got my anchoring thread behind and we're gonna be putting just bullion, uh, not bullion, buttonhole um, loops along this thread. So you take your, your needle and you slide it under that thread and over your working thread. So I like to bring my working thread along the top. So I go under and over. I am going to pull that through and make sure that knot slides all the way down to the bottom. Then with my working thread on top, I slide under and over and I pull that down. You wanna make sure that these are, you get the tension even and the loops nice and straight so they look real nice when you're done. Under and over. And slide it down. Get a couple more on here so you can kind of see how it's looking under and over. And slide it down under and over and slide it down. Okay, so when you get to the center like this, go ahead and remove the pin because it's gonna be in your way. <clears throat> but you do the same stitch with the thread on top. It's under and over. And slide that up so it's even, under and over. Let's 
Okay, so now I'm near the end. I can take about one more stitch under and over. Pull that through. Now I need to go down here and anchor that knot. So what I have, I mean, they look kind of wonky right now. That's because they're loose. But when you anchor them down, you can place them exactly where you want them as you anchor them. So they'll be nice and even and flat. And that is the buttonhole scallop stitch. Blah!